Hi all, welcome to Sri Solar Life. Uh, uh, I hope you have seen a lot of videos now which is related to the solar panels and designs, so, uh, even other technologies as well. Uh, we want you to be clear before proceeding this panels. Uh, the panel performance is purely based upon the locations where you're going to mount it and a lot of uh, engineering criteria there. So it's not just a matter of plug and play or it's not based upon kilowatt and kV and so on. So, yeah. And today we are going to see the location for solar panel uh, that will be uh, and uh, the exact location could be the Sri Sri Govindra Ji's temple and uh, it's near to the community hall palace compound yeah, and cultural confident dental care so that's the exact locations yeah so what we are discussing on this video and what are the sizings we are saying uh, that's going to be sit on the only that locations if you are moving the same kind of design to putting somewhere else you will see a lot of impact on the readings okay uh, so that's the exact location we could say the latitude and longitude would be 24.79 and 93.94 so that is the locations of the systems so what we do is normally we used to take the all the historic data related to the weathers and we used to calculate a lot of uh, engineering on calculations so, and then we have to see the uh, panel characteristics and then you have to size the panels uh, like how we want to dis uh, design and how we are going to install and all so that's how it's supposed to be uh, so uh, today we are going to see that what uh, calculations so assume if you have any of that is an issue or commercial to that location so we we have taken we have considered that such a point that's the location point and then uh, we are sizing the assume if you have a kind of lead reading so what could be the exit panel for that locations that's the uh, main things we are discussing now so low, low what uh, loads we have considered here let's see here uh, we have considered 25 watts uh, load four numbers five hours running per day and 10 watts load four numbers uh, running four hours per day 10, 100 watts uh, load 2 numbers running 8 hours per day, 100 watts load 1 number, uh, 6 hours running per day, 50 watts load 2 numbers, 12 hours running per day. So when you talk about the panel, like what we have considered here, that's for the grade 1 panel, it's a poly crystalline. Uh, uh, so for this calculation, even for, for this calculation, so you have to go with, uh, um, or to, uh, like according to this calculation, you need to generate 1472 units for the entire year. So what we are saying for the entire year, not a month or uh, not for the six months, even we have considered the uh, weather condition as well. If you talk about the summer, winter, rainy season, so all the conditions we have considered and we have not considered the shared temperatures. Uh, so that you have to make sure before putting the panel too. Um, I think uh, many of the people have got already installed the system, but you are not sure what readings you are going to get. Uh, probably many people are into the systems like related to the solar. You're not sure you have more concerns probably you can put a mail to three solar life at gmail.com so our team uh, may call back to you and i will discuss about like what kind of uh, readings you're looking for so basically we uh, clear your doubts as well uh yeah uh, so to these locations um i think um yeah we have seen um, all the uh, things we have discussed i guess yeah if you talk about the panel as well you have to see the panel characteristics you have to see uh, um, panels or uh, uh, aging factor a lot of characteristics you have to see for designing the panel as well so if you are selecting the panel as well so we we have considered the dust also for this panel it means to say you don't have to clean the panels every day a week uh, you can't do it uh, for once in a three or six months that's more than sufficient uh, uh, so um, yeah if you have considered the polycrystalline grid on panels of course you have to see the orientation also when you install that's the standard one uh, if you talk about the conversion kit uh, uh, doll, uh, um, you can so charge control inverter, whatever it is, you know. And then you have to see the protection circuits. So, uh, uh, then you have to look into the batteries. So, when you look into the batteries, we are planning for the number of backup, number of days backup. That's we call as autonomy. Could be a day or two or five, whatsoever. Uh, you can uh, go ahead with that. Uh, you have to see the characteristics of the battery as well. Uh, then you can go ahead. Uh, so for this uh, units uh, generations, uh, probably you can go ahead with uh, eight number of batteries for that location. If you want, if you want to store the energies uh, to the battery uh, to achieve the day autonomy, or uh, if you are planning to increase the autonomy problem, you can you can uh, put a number of batteries. Uh, 
uh, by putting a series and parallel like how many days you want to go ahead with that uh, so here we have taken all the parameters into the account uh, and then we have sized all the um, um, characteristics uh, uh, we could say it's almost over 50 more than 50 you could say yes, we have to see the characteristics lot of uh, calculations you have to see and then you have to size it uh, so it's not uh, just matter of plug and play or kilowatt and kva so we want you to be sure it's purely based upon the locations and lot of uh, uh, things are involved behind that uh, yeah uh, so for these locations if you want to achieve those kind of units uh, you need to put 1500 wp polycrystalline panels to achieve that uh, kind of units at these locations uh, if you are planning uh, these panels to somewhere else uh, you will see the impact on the reading okay so what we are saying on this video is purely based upon that locations only so I hope you have seen a um, lot of video even the previous video for the different locations uh, like how it's supposed to be sized and all so we want uh, you people to understand how the system is supposed to be designed select everything so uh, what we do is we used to the, uh, take the prehistoric data for the weather conditions and we used to calculate a lot of things so uh, it's related to the solar panel how it's supposed to be mounted and etc and then we used to tell that uh, this is the unit it's going to be queued that so it's purely based upon the lot of uh, conditions like weather and specification of the panels and how the cablings you are going to put so those specifications you have to see that so first priority you have to see the panels and the units you could say here like how many units you require to generate for the month or for the year so we are giving for the entire year not for the month or all by considering all the weather conditions okay that's how we are doing it so if you have any concerns related to the solar panel or um, locations or installations orientation etc you know uh, probably you can put a mail to streetsolarlife at gmail.com um, and thank you for watching this video thank you bye